<laughs> Are you used to play? Now they play with a different thing. Conservatism means the way I have been doing it is the only way right. And you get to be branded as really modernity. And it has nothing. You make the mistake of branding yourself modernity. Right? Some is bad because there are lots of percent of new stuff and products that people do not really need. So sometimes you have to stop and say, well, do I need this or is it the marketing that's creating that need? So the consumer also gets you to... I think uh, that is a completely different subject which we can debate under marketing for some time. What we are, what I am saying here, conservatism as a brand means I am no more up to date. We agreed we are open, right? I have been here, you know, for a long time. Ten years ago, an example X was in fashion. You want to teach people through an example, you give them an example. If I stand here and give them the example I gave them 15 years ago, people today wouldn't understand. Then I will be labeling myself who that do? You got me? Okay? And by, I always tell you, this is the way we used to, Riz Allah Aslai rule. What do I care about the Riz Allah Aslai rule? You grow up on slide rule, you graduated engineer slide rule. If you do not apply AutoCAD, okay, so go to the Haram, stood near it, and say, well, Haram <laughs> problem? Is it easy? No. Stop. You have to accept it. Don't rely on conservatism. Third, conceive. Well, you are telling me truthful expressions. This is a culture. I want you to take an exercise and think about me next week. How many times you hear people saying barif compared to people saying mabarif? <laughs> When you say barif, it means you don't want to learn anymore. When you say mabarif, you want to learn. People barif everything here. <laughs> so when you are a brand, always say, I'm a learner. And this is not philosophy. I want to compete. This is business. Whether I'm a doctor, architect, or anything. Today, medicine is changing. It's focusing more on patient relation than how much does your cerebral cortex know about neurosurgery. I trust you, I came to you, talk to me. Conceive is I am the one. You remember Mexican? <laughs> I am the one. I know it all. Anytime anybody, whether friends, family or at work, tell you something, your answer is always fine. And then, this is a trap. When people see you the brand as Conceive, Miss, Mr., Mrs., know it all. What do they do? Carlos, no need to talk to you. If they bring you a piece of news that there is a new diet drink, you say, buy it. So why should I bring it? <laughs> okay? You know everything. True? Yes. Weaknesses, dig for them, find them, and admit them we all have them. I don't want to write the all have them. Dig for them. And deal with them. You will have a better brand. You will be a better perceived person. Eliminate them and not through wishful thinking. <clears throat> Eliminate them through wishful thinking are with all <clears throat> respect, but it's known around the world that people always start diet, decide on a diet Saturday, Sunday, and start it on Monday, and finish it on Tuesday. Until <laughs> <laughs> the Tuesday, after my heart, I don't understand. Wishful thinking. I know I need to learn a new language for my job. Or I know I need to take a course in this new computer program. But I will do it as soon as I have the free time. That's wishful thinking. I don't want to do it. 
Yani I do not think it will influence my career. Yes, I have to be patient with my friends. I am working on it. One time they meet next time and they say, how did you find him, Sharwa? <laughs> Take them now, they lose their time. <laughs> then, they, uh, allow yourself time, but with relevant actions. A brand is not corrected quickly. Not in haste, but speedy. We live today in an age where time is of extreme value. We don't want to wait. So let's work at it very effectively. And the sooner you solve a weakness, the easier it is to solve. If the weakness propagates, then it must be more complicated. Opportunities. Stay alert and look for them. There are opportunities around. There are new friends around, there are new jobs around, there are new everything around. An opportunity is, when you, the brand, somebody misses. You could be uh, uh, a tennis player. Somebody is looking for a tennis player to play with. Keep the alert, keep the attitude positive. Instead of staying at home on a Sunday morning, what are you doing? tennis. What is this hadar supposed to do? Knock at your door? Try the error? Any tennis player in this building? No, keep the alert. Then, another element, they do not come knocking. I don't know if you believe opportunities knock at your door. If you are, any one of you is that kind of person, do are khashab, paint yourself blue, and don't tell us about it. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you, uh, you mean general? I was waiting for the mild one. All right? Missing one is not missing them all. We all miss opportunities. But at the end, there is an attitude, and you, the brand, will be known as perseverance, persistence, and a never give up person. Instead of somebody who tumbled once and stayed tumbling for the rest of their life. And we call them the tumblers. We make mistakes. We all make mistakes in branding ourselves, in communicating the brand, in building the right attitude of the brand, the right image, the right everything. But we don't give up. Branding yourself is an attitude. It's an acceptance and an attitude. Positive versus negative, and anything in between. Threats, competition is hard fact of life, and is getting tougher. <coughs> I believe, and again, I'm saying things I didn't plan to say. I believe dealing with people today in the modern world is a tougher thing than it used to be. Young, old, older, people are more knowledgeable. You cannot lie to a kid. If you are a salesman selling cards, you can apply to the client and tell him, Hi, the he can go check online and find the model as chain. People are more knowledgeable. Communication is easier. Globalization is there. So, you want to compete? Know that it's hard. Right, Khalil? Then, the statement if you can't stand the heat, then get out of the kitchen is a negative attitude. Install an AC is more positive. Taban, <coughs> in the symbolic sense, I'm not a salesman selling ACs. <laughs> right? Find a solution. You have a problem. Your brand has a tarnished image. <clears throat> or your brand is so good, don't be conceited, don't let it fall down. Okay? Some strength, some, just to put our finger on some of the realities of it. Education is a strength. And I say continuous education. Education is in books, education is in reading, education is updating your database in the person. No matter what kind of business are you in. 
I read once that with more educated mothers around the world, Johnson & Johnson has been selling more of the book of new mothers. They have a book like this, New Mothers, that maybe in 1970, 80, they sold nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Since the 90s up to now, they are selling a lot of it. Education. But education is a continuous process. It starts and never finishes. Another thing, experience. And we said, we agree. History of success. Not how long have you been working? Anyone here works in banks? So I won't give example about that. <laughs> I won't. Shall I give them an example about banks? You know the story, a young, educated young lady graduates with a BS degree. She goes, she's hired to be trained as a teller. Near her is Mr. Jones, 30 years teller. Mr. Jones to avoid any local name. <laughs> He's not actually Jones. Okay? He has a brevet degree, and she is there, young, educated, dynamic, life brand, I call it. Then there is a dead brand. And the dead brand says to the life brand, <laughs> Why are you here? And she asks them, Why? Suddenly, Clepin singing teller. And the lady gets first year depression. <laughs> Two, three weeks, the dead brand kills the young brand. True? If the young brand is not powerful enough, the tools are self confident and aware. And in everything. True? You agree with me? Okay. Then, people's skills is a strength. Dealing with people. Dealing with people all the time. You become a brand that is known to have people's skills. Right? Personal, family, work, everywhere. <clears throat> That's a major strength. All businesses, from medicine to agriculture, are demanding. People's skills. Ability to tolerate people. You want to be a boss, you deal with people. You want to be friends, you deal with people. And that's the major effort. Some weaknesses, impatience and outdatedness. Impatience. Impatience. Some people go for a job after three months and come and say, is this Marauni? What do you mean Marau? Three months and assuming he is Einstein. I say, if you are Einstein, you shouldn't be in that job. To start with, Mishmara U Salamu. Impatience. We see that a lot. Impatience. A lot. All around the world. Then, outdatedness. Right? Somebody wants to have a discussion with a friend, and I want to appear as a modern person, whether I am educated whatever, and I give you an example that is really mish 15 years ago, seven years ago. Today, with communication and technology, a five year ago example between friends is an outdated example. Do you want to talk to me with Allah and Nokia? Can it be an ad we used to carry? What do I do? You want me to Nostalgia, cry over the dead Nokia? <laughs> you want to tell me this was the musician? Have you ever, if any one of you have young kids, have you ever tried talking to them about Fairuz? <laughs> Discuss Fairuz with them? What's their span of attention? Seconds. You want to talk to a 10, 15 year old about Fairuz? With all respect, right? You lose their attention. <clears throat> Outdatedness. We become outdated because we decide to be outdated. No one outdates anyone. Then, opportunities, new education fields. There is today financial uh, engineering, 
green architecture, etc., etc. Stay on the lookout. If you are in that major, sometimes upgrading yourself in a training thing helps. Then, new locations all around the world. People get opportunities for them, not in one state, but in different. The globalization, you We are people of the world, more or less. Threats, competition, and brand misperception. Right? That's a threat. If I don't understand you, <coughs> may I give you a, an example? If a father, father is talking to a 10-year-old and he tells him at the end, you, blah, 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 are not understanding. Whose fault is it? <coughs> Look what a common simplistic error. If the kid is not understanding, if my friend is not understanding me, I don't tell him or her, ma'am to family. I say, ana ma'am ba'al fasil. Agree? That's branded. Part of communication between friends. Then, the result, you are a dynamic brand. Dynamic means you still alive, you still progress, and you still move on. How do you become? One, you are present. Second, you are relevant. Relevant to your friends, <laughs> relevant to your jobs, relevant to your family. Relevant. You go higher and you perform. Then you go higher and you show in your performance that you are a better performer in anything. You are a better performing friend. Then we bond. You bond with people. You want with family, you want with friends, and you want, and you become known as a brand, which is dynamic because this takes you from a weak relationship to a strong relationship. Weak? Yes. Okay. Brand equity. The added value that accrues to a person as a result of investments in the value of the brand, that is you. I said, think about it. You like elementary school in your life? Yes. From 8 to 4, go out of the home at 7, go on to the bus, then learn a lot of things, and all of these things. And you spend 25 years learning to, what, to do what? To build the value of the brand. To increase chances of brand sales between quotations. An asset that represents the value created by the relationship between the brand and its environment over time. What's the key word here? Relationship. Second key word? Over time. Takes time. Takes time. Amazing how a lot of brands, whether they are people or products, if you read how they started and how long it took them, it is fantastically <coughs> impressive. The guy at Nike started as accountant during the day, selling shoes during the night. And then he became billionaire, owner of Nike. The EasyJet brand, you know EasyJet? There is the brand person behind it calls uh, Talios Hajiwannu, a Greek who went there and now he has 200, 300 planes. He started with nothing <coughs> and he is known behind the easy jet. But how long? Maybe 10, maybe 15 years. <coughs> maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 20, maybe 3. Depends on the kind of person. Or the kind of business. Sorry? Redwood. Redwood. Look at 20 years since 1985. Yes. Okay. Rolex watches used to make watches for the European watch army because they wanted exact time machines. Daimler Benz, 
There was Mr. Daimler and Mr. Benz, two engineers building cars 100 miles from each other until somebody introduced them to each other and they joined and started the car company is Daimler Benz. Patience. Now, to have a break, top brands 2012. Just a break. Okay? Apple, brand value 183 billion. Two, IBM, brand value 116 billion. You would say, I don't know what you want to say, maybe you're thinking, what's IBM? What gave them this brand value? They are working very significantly on artificial intelligence. Brand three, Google, this young baby brand, young, 10, 12 years, is worth 107 billion. McDonald's, 95, Microsoft, 76. <laughs> Yes, yes, billion. I like the way you say only. <laughs> hey, let me feel good. <laughs> this is May 2012 from Brands. Go to the B R A N D Z, you get the same thing. The brand value, not the company. No, brand value. Brand value, brand. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, if it, uh, when you put McDonald's on a hamburger place, what added in sales they will get over the coming 20 years? That becomes the brand value. Thank you. It's not the company value. All right? Then, the question here, hidden, is, what is your brand value? What is future value, current value, and what do you want to happen with that value? And you will say, shall I do present value of all my earnings? And I will say, try it, and give value to your non-material earnings. So you don't think I'm talking about material earnings only. A brand gets, a person gets material and non-material earnings. Sometimes pleasures of success are worth billions. <laughs> but this is a question we ask ourselves. Your value analysis identify your major attributes and benefits that people around you value. This is kind of a capping. So I go through it quickly. Assess the qualitative importance of different attributes and benefits. Yeah, among friends, what do they want? Honesty or sincerity? How much of that? How much of that? And the way? And you will see. I will come to that. There is one coming. I knew your. Uh, I read your mind. All right. And you weigh it. At work, what do they want? They want you to be nice, more, or results oriented more. Okay. And you weigh it. And you decide what roles you have. Being a nice guy at work is important. Being an achiever at work is more important. And so on. What do different groups expect of your brand? Then, third concept, assess yours and competitors' performances on the different values. I am a nicer guy than he is, but he does the work quicker than me. Do I want to compete? I do not compete on nice. I compete on performance. Examine ratings of specific segments. And for example, professional circle of friends and family. What do they want? What do they want of this brand? And at what time? What do they want? You should have it. Will they tell you? I don't care if they tell you or not. You should know it. But do you have to please everyone? I, mean... I told you. Our friends in India are worshipping the cow. I never said 100% will exist anyway. Yeah, but it's their problem. I mean, no, it's not their problem. Yeah, it is the fact. The Listen to me. Yeah. It is the fact to answer your question that God Almighty, with all the power, there are still people worshipping the cow. So if I tell you 100% of the time things work, then I will be telling you the best way to fail in life. People who shoot for the 100% are sex tormenting brands. 
That's what I said. You can't please everyone. So do you want us? Do you want us to say since I don't please everyone, let me stop trying to please half of them? Yeah, you didn't answer my question. Huh? <laughs> okay. And from then on, you move on. Shooting for hundred percent is doing nothing. It's like saying mawat. Mawat. Mawat the plan. Mawat the nuh le khut course Spanish. Chinese? Mawat. Sit down with your little kids, watch cartoon, kabra'ala. Okay? If you go the second day and you are a manager or a hard worker, and I tell you, what did you do last night? I watched two hours of cartoons with my two-year-old son. People around you should respect you. As long as you don't watch cartoons in that work. <laughs> <laughs> Monitor expected values over time. People change over time. Don't be static. Always change with them. <clears throat> I think there is no harm in learning all the time. I remember I was a kid when the first automatic cars came. The old driver said, Automatic is not powerful. Hikes. Yeah, you hear it from well, it is automatic, doesn't work. And up till now, people say computers. There are still people who like to double check the system by doing written accounting. These are people who decide they are out of date. Nobody puts them out of date, they put themselves out of date. Then, an example. A simple brand expectation. I don't know if you can see it clearly, all of you. I read it. If you want to be my brand, this is a quotation from an age. Never let me down. Keep on making me smile. Always surprise me. Change when you need to, but stay true to your heritage. Never ever take me for granted. Dress nicely. Stay honest. If you stick to these simple guidelines, I am prepared to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> it's a simple personal expectation of branding. Right? And the lady, Joan something. Look at it. Right? If people say, I expect you to never let me down. <coughs> never let me down. Yeah. Hello, I need your help. I'm busy. And I can ask you a question, call me later. Then you are a person, you build a brand off. When you need something, don't talk to them. And this is a reality, and they wrote that. So I'm not going to address a question to the ladies. I'm flipped. <laughs> and it says funny. Sorry? She has not married. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's safer not to know something. <laughs> what is your brand quality? Quality is the totality of features and characteristics <coughs> excuse me, of you as a product and service that bear on your ability to satisfy the needs of relevant groups. And if we want to build it more, more sorry, further, with a continuous time. Reliable product. Is Moody something you'd like to describe a good person with? No. Right? What is Moody? Unless he's an artist. Unless he's an artist. So exceptions confirm the rule. That's right. Okay? Means that quality is inconsistent. Whether you are at work or among friends, your brand becomes very difficult to deal with. Very difficult to deal with. Touch him at the wrong time, you'll explode. No? Okay. So, can we say movie is an advantage? No. At least we agree on that. Your brand perceived. Perceived. People look at you as a point of difference and point of parity. 
There are things in all of us that are common. The important things is that how different we are to our different groups. Points of difference, attributes, or, sorry, attributes or benefits, individuals or groups strongly associate with you as a brand positively and believe they could not find to the same extent with competitive brand. Point of difference. Why should I hire you? Why should I hire you? Why do you want to be my friend? And so on. Why? Give me a reason. Give me a competitive reason. And people say sometimes to each other, why should I listen to you? I'm your mother or father. Okay. So where is the other one in me? <laughs> right? This is not point of difference. This is point of parity. Usually, every born has a mother and a father. Point of difference, your ability to communicate, you become a brand. Desirability of points of difference, one, relevance. Right? Yani you would say, listen, you know why you should hire me? I am uh, 2 meters 20 centimeters tall, right? And I want to hire you as a taxi driver. What shall I put you? <laughs> so that point is not relevant at all. It has no value, no other value. Second is distinctiveness. Is it clear? Point of difference. I'm a good communicator. I'm a good with people. Distinct. Why should I deal with you? In generally, I'm nicer than everybody. Define nicer. Well, you know what nicer is. I'm a nice person. And we start debating, should I be nice? Without this thing. Then, believability. Right? Believability. Shall I believe you or not? Is you believable or is you only not believable? Don't make promises you can keep. Don't make pretensions you can keep. People sometimes we face and laugh are impressive at interviews. And we say we would love to have him. And we have him or her for a month. And that's the end of a quick relationship. Then, feasibility. Actually, you know, they cannot say, it can taste good, I'll try it, and taste bad. So, then, communicability. We are, I am full of great things, but I am unable to tell you about it. Shubhamim, go look at yourself in the mirror, hug yourself, and say you are your best friend. You like yourself, you are a great person. We don't see you like this because you are unable to tell us. Sorry, sustainability over time. All right? Now, set your brand objectives. A couple of minutes, and I'll take all your questions. One, your objectives should be ambitious but realistic. <coughs> ambitious but realistic. Realistic in terms of the environments you deal with as a brand. P and G and Destiny cannot force you and me to eat their new chocolate or try their new detergent because they decide so. They never advertise, listen, and Nestle, new chocolate, eat it. <laughs> okay? You cannot say, listen, I have 10 years experience, hire me. I don't know what you are talking about. I live in Switzerland. Every morning I come from Zurich and I live at the end of the day. In Switzerland, we don't have the problems he has here. <laughs> Always consider the time element. A rapidly vanishing asset so quickly, but not in haste. Time is valuable. Haste is not doing it right, doing it quickly. Be results oriented and not post process oriented. Process oriented means how are you doing? I am doing. Where do you get? I'm still doing. <laughs> What's happening with you? I'm st it's still happening. Where is the result? Working on it. Thank you. 
Apply periodic situation reviews, see where you are. Know your risk tolerance. Some people take risk with brands, with themselves. Some people say no. Who am I to judge? No one. I please say, I'm not a risk taker. Yeah, me, nothing venture, nothing gain. I know, but I want peace. If you are a risk taker, you build a brand stronger, different. If you are a non-risk taker, you build a brand stronger to different customers. Whether family, friends, or professional. Manage expectations, avoid, I believe, one of the worst feelings a human with a brand can take is regret. Is there rewind in life? Anyone has a button that says rewind? Let me start again. So if there is no rewind, avoid regrets. Terrible expenses. Proof? Branding mistakes happen. We talked about it. Key tools as a closure. Continuously acquire and update knowledge, right? Develop and maintain a positive attitude. There is always a light. I'm not a philosopher. Please don't misunderstand me. I am not a philosopher. I'm a business person. My experience, my training, but there is always a positive one. Then energize yourself with ambition. You see people giving up in early ages and they stay two months without the job, they give up. Don't give up. And there are professional people who lose their jobs after 20 years, companies close. Don't give up. A friend goes away. I said, God, my school friend left. I cannot make friends anymore. I said, and I cry all night. <laughs> Maintain patience and persistence and stay in control of your plan. A statement here is, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Forgive. People misunderstand the brand, explain it to them twice. They still misunderstand, if you care, explain to them three times. Remember, finally, perfection is a process, not a state. I wrote that. I didn't want to say Hazard would be black. <laughs> so I put it in chair. But I, I honestly searched to see if ever anybody said it before, did it? Perfection is a process, not a state. We work at perfection. As we try, we become more perfect. If you say Anarabba, that's it. <laughs> I wish they had the voice when I was younger. Um, yes. I just need more just about planning. Yes. Because you know, like we develop like mentally as we grow, so you know your mind changes a lot. Of course. And I'm in a point where I changed my career at 30. So okay. it is a big challenge and I just need more tips about planning in terms of understanding your interests, you know. As you grow older. Fine. If you apply, uh, if you apply SWOT analysis, right? Number one. And number zero, what exactly do you want? You don't have to answer us now. What do you want? You are changing careers, changing. What exactly do you want in your life for this brand over the coming five years? What do you want from profession? What do you want from friends? What do you want from family? How do you want us to see you? You want to come and apply to a job. How do you want us to see? What do you want in five years? In which line of career? If you answer those questions, I believe marketing yourself will be much easier. All right? But please understand, this exercise uh, requires determination. You have to sit with yourself. 
I always say I am my best friend. And I am not a narcissist or anything. If I cannot understand me, how can I tell the lady, you are not understanding me? And they answer you sometimes, my I'm <laughs> True? So, ask yourself. I'm sure you will find. Because your experience, your education will help you find an answer. Yes? Hello. Uh, my question is, uh, I find that a person can have many brands, uh, a brand with friends, a brand at home and brand yeah, at work. Yeah. And, uh, and would they affect each other? I find it, if you're a good family person, it might affect good question. your work. And how, how to manage that? Good question. Uh, I will answer you, uh, no more uh, white glove. I think we live in a self-tormenting culture. Right? We go to work by we go to work, the first half an hour people would say, uh, how was your, how, what did you do, or how was your last time, or how was the weekend? My weekend? Let me tell you about it. The generator went off. Uh, I was taking my kids to school, and we had a flat tire. In the first, I, I should say given, in the first one hour, I spread all the bad news in my department of seven. <laughs> Negative vibes. Yani I told them indirectly, life is not worth it. I love you. Then, we, by the time we recover, it's around 11. <laughs> we go home at five. By the time we see people and we say, how was your day? My day? <laughs> I think I want to quit. I am tired with these people. So your family now knows you as a negative brand. Your people at work know you as a negative brand. If you have children of any age, you become an intolerable brand. So at the end of the day, you go to sleep, and most of the time you don't sleep. So you become your own self-hated brand. <laughs> so, to answer your question, it takes management of oneself. You go to work, leave the person. You leave work. Why are you carrying so much frustration from work and taking it home when you are supposed to take leisure? Tariff in professional business people will never take work home. <coughs> We never. Then taking work home is one out of two things. You are either inefficient on the job or you are overworked, you need somebody. Right? So manage yourself. You say, at, at work, I need to be the smiling person, the good guy. People love me, they will push me upward. In my family, I want them to receive me with open arms. With the kids, I want to be a kid again. Who will make that decision for you? You do. If you are a man or a woman, you expect somebody to decide for you. Good luck. Takes management. Yes. Anything? Yes. About deciding what you want. You don't always know what you want. What you want to change is over time. So, Elna, review it. Review it. Ask him, my friend. <coughs> What do you want to eat tonight? Eli, I don't know. Bro, a supermarket, bro? Eh? No. You stand near the Chinese and you say, you know Chinese. But no, I don't like. Let me look for another thing. I need the word plan again. Yes. Today I want to be X. Or I want to be No, no, no. Which today? You don't change every day. I, I, I want to ask you, where would you like to be? During and at the end of the coming five years. But in the world, I want to be a credit analyst in a major bank. You go apply and you start. Teller, assistant, credit, etc. Then all of a sudden you get a job offer from a private company, non-banking, due to your experience, to be a financial manager. Then you ask yourself, what do I want in the coming five years? The first road, I succeeded two and a half years. Do I want to change roads or do I want to stick? And I don't know. You don't know that life is about decision making and choices? But how 
Who am I telling you that? It's all about the same thing. True? Yes. You said not to have any regrets. Does that mean... Try not, not to have. Fine. <laughs> Does that mean never say I'm sorry? And, uh, you remind me of who is my friend, love story. <laughs> love is never have to say you're sorry. I'm talking about a company making yes. errors, making mistakes yes. towards people, towards public. Yes. Do they have not to say any regrets, any sorry about it? Yeah, I want to, to say two things. We were talking about individuals. Mm. Second, at corporate level now you are talking major marketing errors. Merck and Viox. Merck recently with another medicine in Europe out of 40 countries. They cannot say sorry. They will pay for it. But they can't be paid. I mean, they say sorry, they can. The people will respect them. Like what happened with, uh, with Toyota? No, they have made some. Uh, uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, if they have made a mistake. Are you telling me it didn't cost Toyota? It did cost. I mean, what did I say? But they have realized that they are sorry and people respected them. When you say that, it's admitting your error. This yeah, they admitted the error. You and me are saying the same thing. You are saying it from the sorry and saying it sorry with the cost. You want to avoid the cost. Toyota, they, you tell, you, are you telling me that Toyota said sorry to people and people, Toyota didn't suffer any cost? Yes, that's one. When a company makes a mistake. Would you clarify to my friend the question? When you, there is a cost associated, right? Do you believe in no? Had our personal basis. Sorry, all the time is costless. No, but wouldn't you have any regrets? Sorry? Wouldn't you have any regrets? It's on corporate level. On individual level. It's error, right? I mean, what did I say? Try not to make regrets. They are not a nice feeling. I'm not a nice feeling. Is it a nice feeling to say, to sit down at the age of X, Y and say, Ya Allah, Ya Raiti Muhammad Taki? You people are pro regrets? It doesn't make you happier? Thank you for coming. Thank you.